In fact, you look rather distinguished like a Jewish Clark Gable. Come in. Come in. What do you, you, you have to be my model. Oh, no, no. You need an interview. I need a model. It's the perfect arrangement. Well, I don't care if you've never done it before. This is not exactly skilled labor. You sit this way. You sit that way. You do as you're told. Now, turn to your left, putz. <laughs> Why do I call you Putz? I call you Putz because I don't know your name. <laughs> no, I don't want to know your name. This is an interview. It's not a relationship. <laughs> well, calm down. Well, all right, all right, I'm sorry. I apologize. It was a slip of the tongue. I, I won't call you Putz. So, schmuck. <laughs> What is this interview for anyway? The New York Times. All the news that's fit to print. That's what we used to say about Goya. All the nudes that are fit to paint. <laughs> I see you've had a humor bypass. <laughs> no, I did not know Goya. He died in 1828. Two years before I was born. Now, turn to your left. Oh, but you're from the New York Times. How much further left can you turn? <laughs> then, when I was nine years old, I painted a picture of my father. And I showed it to my mother. She said, look, he's nine years old and he paints like a man. And then, when I was 20, I did an abstract. And I showed it to my mother. She said, look. He's 20 years old and he paints like a child. <laughs> Katie was wonderful. Right from the beginning she was wonderful, but then there was Kate's mother. No, Kate's mother. She was, there's a word I'm looking for. Kate's mother was, ah yes, crazy. The only smart thing that that Michigan woman ever did was to force Katie to have dancing lessons when she was a little girl. And when Katie was a little girl, one day her mother fell down in a department store. So the store settled with her for $500 whenever the family needed money. <laughs> When, when Katie and I were first going out together, her mother invited me for dinner. It was her way of sizing me up. So, Katie explained to her about my being Jewish and about kosher and that you never mix meat and dairy. And that night, her mother, well, she served us a beautiful dinner of cream of diced pork on toast. <laughs> you know what they say? Recipes speak louder than words. And Jewish dietary laws, for they're very strict. Pork and shellfish may only be eaten in Chinese restaurants. <laughs> After Katie and I were first married, her mother stopped by one day for a little visit. And she stayed for five years. I did! 
In the five years that woman lived with us, she and I spoke 18 words to each other. Nine of them were fuck, and the other nine were you! <laughs> There. December 28, 1941. Barney Josephson, he was the owner of the club. He walked me down the stairs. There was a girl singer on the stage, and my God, there wasn't a sound in the room except for that voice. Usually there's a buzz, a couple of loudmouth drunks at the bar. Hell, it's a nightclub. But that night, that voice had mesmerized 300 people. I said to Barney, who is that? I had to follow her. He told me and I thought, good God, how do you follow Billy Holiday? Especially when you're doing an imitation of a teapot. Then I was standing backstage with Ivan Black. He was the press agent for the club. And the MC said, now welcome the greatest star on the comedy horizon, Zero Mostel. And I said, who the hell is that? <laughs> My name is Sam. Why didn't he say Sammy Mostel? Who changed my name? Ivan Black said, I changed your name. I said, why? I don't need a new name, my name is Sam. And why Zero? He said, do you remember what you told me your grade school average was? <laughs> he said, and besides, you started from nothing. I thought, well, it's too late now. Out I went. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Did you hear about the Hasidic rabbi, he walked into a bar. He had a parrot on his shoulder. The bartender said, where did you get that? The parrot said, they're all over Brooklyn. <laughs> then one night, Katie was right there. Right there with Phil Loeb, my old dear friend Phil. Phil Loeb, right from the Goldbergs. Have a good memory. Talk about film. Yeah. 